Hello Clampers, Justin here from Domino Clamps and today I'm going to give you some useful information about corner castings, what they are, where to find them on a shipping container, what makes them different from each other, how to identify them and most importantly what makes them special that means with Domino Clamps and these guys you can attach whatever you need to your shipping container using Domino Clamps. This is a shipping container corner casting. You probably haven't seen one off a shipping container before. It's pretty heavy. Uh, 12 and a half kilos, 23 pounds, cast from caught in steel, and most likely cast either in India or China. There are eight of these on all standard shipping containers, and they are used as connection points for stacking, joining, lifting, and connecting shipping containers as they make their various journeys all around the world. Of these eight castings, there are four which are different from each other, and you'll find these in the top left, top right, bottom right, and bottom left corner castings of the door end of your shipping container, and that pattern is repeated on the rear end as well. Now, the thing that confuses most people about shipping container corner castings is the different holes that they have. So let's take a closer look at these and make that nice and clear. On the sides of your shipping containers, we have these. These are sometimes called oval or lozenge holes, but we prefer the correct geometry term, which is stadium. Uh, in actual fact, there is one other correct geometrical term for them, which is disco rectangle, believe it or not. Let's just take a moment to enjoy the majesty of that word, disco rectangle. Next up are these shield shaped holes. These are wider, they're squatter, and they have a sloped front here for accepting lifting hooks uh, without kind of damaging them. And you'll find these at the top ends of each shipping container. Same again the other side, as I mentioned before. Finally, there's the stacking holes. These you'll find on the top surface of the top corner castings and on the underside of the lower corner castings. As the name suggests, these are for joining shipping containers in stacks vertically uh, with a twist lock or a stacking pin in between. The main thing you really need to know in regards to domino clamps is that the dominoes will fit in the stadium and shield holes, but not in the stacking hole. Some of you will want to be sure that domino clamps fit in your shipping containers. Well, you can rest assured because the design of both this and every shipping container in the world is laid out in an international standard or ISO, meaning that every single one across the world has to conform to that standard. And in regard to the corner castings, the dimensions of these holes also is very strictly laid out with tolerances of anywhere between nothing and 1.5 millimetres. There are, however, other portable containers and buildings uh, which might look like a shipping container, but in fact aren't. Have a look. It may well have this same shaped hole, but if you're looking at much, much thinner steel, then the chances are it's not an ISO shipping container and it's not an ISO corner casting. If you are in any doubt and want to be sure, please feel free to email some pictures of your shipping container over to us at hello at dominoclamps.com and we'll do our best to try and identify it for you. Otherwise, head over to our blog about how to identify an ISO shipping container and that will give you all of the information you need. That is it for our introduction to shipping container corner castings. I hope you have all the information that you need. Please subscribe to our channel for more information about shipping containers and how to use domino clamps with them. Uh, follow us on the social medias as well, in Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, always forward slash domino clamps. And in the meantime, happy clamping.